Hello, in this problem we are going to solve this equation using the quadratic formula. So when you're using the quadratic formula, the very first step is to identify a, b, and c. So this is really ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So this is the form of a quadratic equation. And so you can see through matching, there's really a one here. So a is equal to one, b is equal to negative three, and c is equal to negative four. And so now we have a, b, and c, so we can use our formula. The formula says that x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. All of this is divided by 2a. Very nice. So now all we have to do is plug a, b, and c into this formula, and we can get the answer. So x is equal to, so there's already a negative here, and b is negative 3, so it's going to become a positive 3. Okay, so negative and negative is positive. Plus or minus, the square root of, b squared, so that's going to be negative 3 squared, minus, and you can skip steps if you want, but don't skip this one. It's ac, so it's 4 times 1, times c, which is negative 4, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And the reason I didn't want to skip this one is because look what happens here. There's two negatives, so it's going to become a positive. So we have x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared is 9. And this is 4 times 4, which is 16. And it's positive because there's two negatives all over 2. Let's keep going. So x is equal to 3 plus or minus. 9 plus 16 is 25. And all of this is over 2. So you have x equals 3 plus or minus, the square root of 25 is 5 over 2. So now we have two answers and we just have to separate it. So the first one will be x equals 3, let's do the plus first, plus 5 over 2, which is 8 over 2, which is 4. So that's our first answer. The other one is x equals 3 minus 5 over 2, which is negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. And that would be the answer there. This problem uh, could have been done another way, which was much easier. Um, let me just show you really quick. So if you have x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0, you can actually do this by factoring. So basically, you assume that the product is going to look like this. x times x is x squared. Then you need two numbers that multiply to negative 4 and add to negative 3. So negative 4 and plus 1. And you can check x times x is x squared, 1 times negative 4 is negative 4, 1 times x is x, write this term here, x and negative 4x. So the inner and the outer, when you add them up, you get negative 3x. And so then you have a product equal to 0. So you set each piece equal to 0. So in here you have x equals negative 1, x equals 4. And so now those are the answers. So that's another way to do it by factoring. But the original question uh, was to do it using the quadratic formula, and that's why I did it this way. But it's good to do it both ways because you can see you get the same answer, and you can check your answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.